So today we're going to be reviewing Eververse. Honestly, this is going to be a really negative video because this is my second take at it. And that video was, or the first one I did was pretty bad because I kind of, it kind of hit me how much we're actually missing out on. So let's just get right into it. So this is the new season picture. Nothing from the bright dust that is of this season, unfortunately. And then if we go back down to the bright dust, nothing as well except for this one and these three or these two, my bad. So this is where I got negative because I got really mad. I'm trying to articulate my thoughts better and not to get as emotional, but to be honest, to be frank, this just pisses me off so much, especially when you look at some of the stuff we're getting in this season that's behind the paywall. It just kind of pisses me off even more because as a collector it breaks my heart that i'm not gonna get all of these because i don't have enough money and before you're like oh well if you don't have money then just suck it up dog i work it's not like i'm lazy i have a job i i have bills to pay i like i'm an adult bro like it's cool like yeah i can buy some he things here and there but i can't buy literally 15 dollars for an armor set i play three characters that means 15 dollars $45. $45 for my Titan Warlock and Hunter. You guys think that's fine? I don't think that's fine. What would be a better price? $5. $5 for each armor would be okay with me. Guess that that's $15. Instead of, you know, $45. You know how much $45 can get you in the gaming industry now? You can get me a few games in Steam. It gave me a fuck ton of games in Steam if I really look. Or I can buy a pretty good game in GameStop or whatever. So $45, I think that's a bit too much, guys. Like, especially for like me that I play this game a lot. The the best I can hope for is that they do what they did last season, where they trickle down all the armor like throughout the whole season. Because last season they did that. They trickled all the armor throughout the whole season. Which means I ended up getting all the armor, but I didn't have all the armor like day one so hopefully they do that oh man I don't think they're gonna do that just so from what I from what I see right here but we'll see if if worse comes to worse I am gonna put some money aside each check just to see if I can get some of these because at the end of the day I if they don't put it in I still kind of want them and that's what kills me is that it's FOMO, man. F that fear of missing out. Like, I don't want to miss out on this armor, especially this armor. The Eververse armor is probably the best armor in the game right now. Uh, in my opinion, it's probably the best armor in the game. Aside from the Battle Pass uh, premium armor. So, if you guys don't know, we ended up getting finishers. And obviously, they were going to monetize it and add some even better ones to the to Eververse. Which, literally, you do a drop kick. When I saw that, I got immediately angry. My friends needed to calm me down. I got angry because I'm so tired of look like them to being like, oh yeah, we have some cool shit lined up. And it's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But you have to pay us though. It's like, well, I'm already paying you for Shadow Keep. Yeah, yeah, but we want more money. And it's like, well, are you, like, are you guys not making it? I mean, you guys, you guys have Eververse. You guys sell expansions. You guys sell seasons. So like, what the fuck is up and it's not like it's not like activision's taking a cut from you guys anymore so it's like you guys get more of a cut like what what's going on like i'm confused so before you guys start saying the bungie needs to make money somehow aren't they already making money though like this just seems like oh we need to add more because we need more and it's like that's fine i get companies need to grow but this is just unmanageable look 6 12 19 26 Ooh, math 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 horrible math i i lost count like to get all of this look at this all of this all of this is just wild it's really wild to me that people are out here trying to defend this shit when when a person who plays destiny like eight times out of ten they're a collector they like to collect everything all of this is a lot of fucking money. I'm not getting any of these. That sucks. Like the Monte Carlo one, I don't really care about it. Which means I don't care if I not if I don't collect this or not. Thank God. 
this one don't really care about it as well thank god that's the thing i'm more hoping that the like the ornaments look like shit that way i don't feel like oh fuck now i need to get it or i'll never have it again and that pisses me off like the thorn ornament i'm not a big fan of this one i'm not a big fan of it even though like i would get it but i wouldn't put my down money for it even though this is my favorite sniper in the game is nagi's burden i just i can't justify that this one however the toaster has become golden yes i am down with this i would buy this this one's fine, fine. I would buy that, fine. These are cool. This one, I definitely would think about buying because this is an ornament for, what's it called? Hammerhead, which looks really cool. It looks so good. And then the emotes, which I usually never really care about. And then ghost projections with a little whatever. These are all awesome. Like, ugh, that's so much money, guys. And it's like, all right, cool. Like I get paid like $300 in two weeks because I only work three days at my job. So 300 and something like I actually almost $400. So let's just round it up to $400. If I save half of that $200, that's retarded because I still have to pay bills. So realistically, I would have to save like 10% of it to so 400 or I mean $40. $40, I'd still need to put like half five more dollars to get all the armor. Like, you know how crazy that shit is, bro? I understand you guys want to make more money, but like, bro, I can't make more money. I'm sorry. Like, and even then, it's like, <sighs> all right, all right, let's get to a better example. Let's say a few months ago when I was working at Best Buy, when I was making good money, I'd get paid like what, six, seven hundred dollars each check. With bills, especially since I was living in LA, I, I wouldn't be able to justify this. Even even with that good job in LA, I would not be able to justify this. Like, at the end of the day, it's just digital shit. So for me, I'm gonna probably pass on a lot of this cool shit because at the end of the day, I'd rather have a fucking house to live in than be like, hey, look, I look really cool, don't I? What the fuck? So, yeah, I, and it's it's it kills me because I passed on all of this shit. I passed on that because I was like, at the end of the day, what does it do? This one was free at one point, so I ended up scooping this up before it, got, it was. You had to pay for it. I think fuck I did, but like this one, I wanted to get this when it first came out, but I was just like, what's the point, bro? Like, I don't even use this exotic. I would love to have it. I would use it more if I had it. But at the end of the day, I'm just it's a waste of money and that's the thing it's just, this this is just a waste of money and the more and more they do this shit the more i just realize like what's the point of wasting my money on this shit i'll just get some of the cool shit in the game or just keep some of the cool shit that i already have and then that's it that's literally how i'm gonna play the game now i'm gonna play play what i can and then what they sell not give a fuck about it unless it's actually killing my soul like the armor the armor is actually killing my soul this and this one these two right here is what kills my soul right now so i'm gonna go over what you get in the in this in another video because i want to show you guys real quick not that the season so i ended up getting up to level 10 today thankfully so most of these rewards I'm, I'm gonna be frank are kind of weak like glimmer in here feels disrespectful shards in here feels disrespectful it's just why are you giving me glimmer i can get this easily give me something i that like i want not glimmer glimmer here just mm, i mm, pisses me off i don't know what these do can't wait to get it whatever it is Keep getting these armors okay that's cool i already have a full set but just keep giving them to me i guess this is cool i like this one a lot i'm happy i'm gonna get it one day <laughs> and then after that it's just kind of whatever is to be f to be honest these are just little boosts that you can get for in the game until the season's over you get an exotic which is fine my only concern is that you can only get it from this pool from what i from what it looks like which means I only need this one and that's it because I have all of these already 
So the wave splitter is the only one I need, unless this exotic can this exotic shard or engram can drop any from the previous seasons as well, because I don't have the the paragon grease for the, my titan. So if you can drop that, it'll be useful. If not, this is completely useless to me. It's only gonna go to a because it's our. I'm already at the level cap too, so this is literally useless to me. But I'm not gonna say it's bad because other people will find it more valuable. It's just that I already have everything. And like I said, more boosters for the season. Glimmer doesn't really interest me. Uh, does not interest me at all. The weapons, the weapons are pretty interesting. I think this is what you, these you get from the the Vex Offensive when it comes out. Again, shards feels disrespectful. The the amount of bright dust they give you is extremely disrespectful. A hundred's nothing, guys. A hundred. What is the equivalent of if you dismantled one armor piece of Everers in the old season? So this is disrespectful. I don't like it at all. Ariana's Vow at 35. I didn't even know that. I thought it was 25. So you get that at 35 for the freemium players or free players. Armor that I'm, I already have. Um, this is actually this is nice. I like that they give us this. But again, legendary shards, don't really care about. A legendary engram? Oh, no. No, this is bad. That's bad. Ew. Ew. Bad. Strike armor scrounger. Granted chance to receive an additional season pass legendary armor drop from completing strikes. Okay. Don't really care about that. Small XP boost. I want to see how good these are because there's 2% each. I don't know how many there are in this, but... You might never know they might actually be good. Another weapon. This looks pretty cool. This looks beefy. I like it. It looks cool. What is it? Ambitious Assassin and Rampage with extended mag, light mag, poly polygonal rifling, fluted barrel, and then rapid. Eh, it's fine. It doesn't look bad. I think it looks pretty dope. Yeah, I kind of want that. And we're at the halfway mark, which gives us a shader. To be fair, I'm wearing shitty armor, so it's not going to look good. I do understand that, so I'm not going to give a shit. 100, bright dust again. Disrespectful. <sighs> Just complete shite. Another exotic engram. Uh, chest armor, energy, whatever. XP boost. Gambit armor scrounger. Grants a chance to receive an additional season pass legendary armor drop from completing... Oh, okay. So... These are going to be helpful when you're doing other stuff aside from that. That's fine, I guess. I don't know what this is. Maybe offer this to Accord. Oh, okay. So you get weapons from these. That's cool, I guess. And then, okay, so here it is. This is where you start getting the really cool armor set. This is the one that should have been in the raid. And I still think firmly to this day that this is actually the raid armor, but they cut it out to put it in the premium section. I, I, I firmly believe that because if you look at this armor, compare it with the raid weapons, they have very similar, like very, very huge similarities, like the white line things there, the smooth sleekness of it is there. It's, it's just day and night. Like I'll, I'll show you guys in a bit. Another exotic engram, don't really care. Raid banners, even though I can get these from anywhere now. That's cool, I guess. Our first cloakless or hoodless cloak, which looks really cool. Again, legendary shards at 25 at that for hitting level 78. It's just disrespectful. 100 would have been fucking nice for 100 for our level 78, but 25 is just kind of like here. Here's some scraps. Still, ascended shard at level 80. Jesus, okay. And then this is the last. Oh no, next one's the last one. So, like I said, you get the ship from here, which is cool, but not the, not the, um, not the sparrow, which is f okay, I guess. I don't know. The chest piece, which looks really cool. You have vex goot or vex milk in the in the middle. That looks really cool. <sighs> Crucible auto, okay. Again, Glimmer, I don't give a shit about. Send a chart, that's fine. It's 
small fire team XP boost. You get a skin for this, which looks which looks pretty cool. And then for the last one, you get this one, which looks super cool. I like that a lot. Get some more sh uh, components, which is cool. Strike machine gun scrounger, crucible machine gun scrounger. Ascendant Shard, 100 Bright Dust for a level 96 is just, oh, that's like, that's such a fuck you, bro. And then the helmet, which looks pretty cool as well, I think so at least. Three eyes and whatnot. Oh, I like this helmet a lot. And then another, oh, this is the Faded Ingram, though. What is a Faded Ingram? Oh, is, wait, I'm confused. Okay, so this is this is the one that you'll get something that you don't have So this one I would have to use on my Titan to get the new exotic. So That's a little huh. Actually if I use it on my hunter, I could probably get Monte Carlo Okay Clash of swords, which I think looks cool, but again the emote for the level 99 is just I Don't know. I think it's just kind of garbage in my opinion it looks cool don't get me wrong guys it looks fucking cool i just think an emote for level 99 is kind of garbage uh four way or whatever it's called this is cool i uh, don't get me wrong it looks cool but for a level 100 i don't even think ariana's vow is that good to begin with but okay like i guess not only that but if you guys have noticed these are like separated after you hit level 100 each five levels you get uh, a bright engram and the, like i said we'll get we'll go through what it has in the next video but i hate this i hate this so fucking much and you guys will see why in a bit but that's pretty much it guys let me know what you guys think about eververse i think she's horrible i think she's getting worse and worse she is actually ripping shit from the game to eververse and it's not even like stuff that or it's whatever it's literally like shadow keep shadow keep shit that should have been in the game like i don't care what form it should have been in the game but it should have been in the game if you really think about it i view the shadow keep as like not forsaken but if forsaken only came out with the dreaming city think about the sparrow the ship the ghost granted they're shitty looking i know they're shitty looking but imagine if we couldn't get those and they just had another drop because it was behind eververse and imagine if they actually look cool like that's how it feels i don't like that i don't like the fact that it literally feels like all right you're done with the story cool are you done a uh, leveling up cool now the real game begins give me money that's how it feels and i don't like that especially since like i'm level 900 now i get i got this exotic for like just participating which means if they gave me that exotic then that means all the the class exotics are irrelevant for me well not irrelevant but like I, i'm not gonna go farm for them i'm not gonna try to go get them because i'm gonna get them already like i'm gonna get this chest piece this one i'm gonna get the legs for for the titans when i do the story with them my titan's only missing the peregrine greaves that's it and after that i'm just gonna start farming for these so I, I I don't like where this is going. I could be wrong, hopefully I'm wrong, but it sucks that we don't have, like, cause at the end of the day, I liked using sparrows from the new DLC. So that's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Am I wrong? Is Eververse getting better? If you, if you say she's getting better, I swear to God, I'm gonna lose my mind. Anyways, uh, follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below. Follow me on my, my YouTube right here. Please like, follow all that shit. Ugh. I will see you guys later before I have an aneurysm. Peace.